Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I know you have hundreds, if not thousands, of digital photos sitting on your hard drive right now. So uh, what about throwing a few of them into a photo collage of sorts? Oh, I know you're saying, Chris, I don't have the software. Yes, you do. Well, at least you will after you go to the website to download this software, whether you're using Linux, Windows, or Mac OS X. Uh, thank you, Target Hunter. That is the uh, URL. Thank you, David Crandall. That is the URL, vincentcheung.ca. He's actually got a couple of apps you can try. The first one is the one we're going to demonstrate, the Shape Collage. The second one is an app that can help you download photos from Facebook. So in case you didn't have enough digital photos on your hard drive, then you can grab them from Facebook. So what Shape Collage does is quite simply, well, this is what the icon here pretty much illustrates what it does. It takes digital photos and then arranges them into some kind of collage, some kind of pattern, including preset patterns uh, like a heart. See, those are little uh, photos that are in there. Uh, you can even take a font and uh, sprinkle photos throughout. You can draw your own shape, or you can just go with a, a plain old square. And uh, as I said, it is cross-platform, and it looks nice. I mean, even though it's a Java app, it, it looks very, very nice. So uh, let me go ahead, and I've uh, zoomed in here. Uh, these are the pictures of Wicket and Pixie. I can choose the layout here. This is a preview of what it's going to look like uh, when I render it out into a heart shape, and you can see a live preview. There are different options. Uh, you can set the shape or set the text or a custom shape that you can draw yourself. The size of the collage, uh, the photo size, uh, manually you can set that. It's, it's currently set to 200 pixels. Uh, number of photos, either all, or you can set the limit. You can change the photo spacing as, as well, pardon me. You can set the appearance, the background, a color. You can make it transparent or set it as a photo. You can have a, have a border on the photos or not. And then, of course, there are a couple of advanced options, either a jagged boundary or making all the photos the same size. So, you know, in terms of uh, collage power uh, for the price, you just can't beat it. This is Shape Collage version 2.0, most likely the best photo collage software I've ever seen. And it works on Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. I, I, I wouldn't pay anything for this kind of software. Seeing this here for free, knowing that this is working for free well you know you may have to put up with a few bugs here and there but the developer is open to receiving bug reports so uh, you know if you do run into a crash go ahead and pass it along can't beat the price as I said and uh, it's a heck of a lot of functionality for uh, not really paying much and it doesn't take much attention to get it done drag and drop photos in output a photo collage and you're off to the races you can impress your friends uh, by outputting JPEG uh, ping or even a Photoshop file. So uh, give it a shot, and uh, people will be amazed. they say, wow, how'd you do that? You say, I have my secrets. Your secret is Chris Perillo and his uh, ability to pass along interesting software resources for you. Now, maybe you have uh, some kind of resource that uh, you'd like to share with the rest of the world. Maybe something you created, or maybe it's just something you found. Feel free to drop me a line. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Love to take a look at what you've found or what you've done, potentially. You're welcome to join us in our community of geeks at, of all places, geeks.perillo.com. Uh, tons of technologists just running around rampant, uh, floating, and generally wreaking havoc. That's what geeks do, you know, especially in community constructs. we got forums, places where you can upload your own photo montages, download photos if you want to, embed your YouTube videos. A lot you can do there. And then, of course, we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day seven days a week right here in the chat room which is being done in conjunction with this live video feed at live.perillo.com we'll see you later